Good evening. Um, I'm about to go fishing in the morning. I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to have a, well, I bought this online. It's a perch trap. I'm going to use this and try to catch some piggy perch to use for bait. Because every time I use piggy perch, it seems like I catch some big reds. Um, there's a couple of things about these perch traps. There's some regulations on them, like you can only use them in salt water. And I have a couple of things that Texas Parks and Wildlife has listed. It can't be more than 18 cubic feet, which is 18 cubic feet is really big. This is only like two cubic feet. Um, it has two entry holes right there. The back is where you get the fish out. And then the other side over here, the I guess top is where you put the bait at. Um, a couple of things that Texas Parks and Wildlife says that besides 18 cubic feet, you have to have it floating with the visible orange buoy, which is six inches in width. So I bought this little thing. It's about an eight by eight circumference. So that's plain big enough. Um, there's a gradable panels, which is these straps that hold these panels in case the trap is lost and fish are in there. These nylon straps will degrade in the salt water. Uh, the buoys, again, they can't be made of a plastic bottle. It has to be orange buoy. And it has to have a gear tag, which gear tag was kind of confusing to me because gear tag is, they define it as something that's durable as the, you know, trap or buoy. Uh, define durable, I don't know how they define it, but for the gear tag, you're supposed to have your name and address and the date you put the trap out. So I'm not gonna around that buoy because if I write the date, I have to somehow erase it. So I bought this orange duct tape to tape on there and you can write your uh, license customer ID, but you have to have the date that you set the trap out. So I'm gonna use this, write the customer ID, the date, tape it to that buoy and use it. And I bought some nylon, uh, cordage. I'm going to tie the buoy about three feet uh, to the trap somewhere. I haven't figured out where I'm going to tie it to. But I'm going to use that the buoy and trap. And then because these holes are so big, uh, it's hard to keep bait in. So I bought a real cheap laundry mesh bag from Walmart, like $2. So I'm going to put cat food maybe some shrimp in there and just stuff it in that hole and set it out. So, yeah, so there's a, a couple of regulations that you need. You can't just throw it out there. I never really heard anybody getting a ticket for not having uh, a trap, not by standards. So I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna throw it out there, let it soak for a little bit. See if I can't catch any piggy first. So next time you see me, I'll be setting this thing out. So stay tuned. All right, so here's my buoy and stuff. Oh, it's all muddy. See if I have anything in it. Oh. Hey, there's one piggy perch. That's like the biggest one that'll fit in there. It's a good size one. So it does work. Using the squid. I've only been out here for uh, a couple hours. So, oh, use this guy. Put this guy in the bait bucket. Use him for bait.